Alrighty guys, it's a new day, it's a Friday, and what I'm going to do today, I need to get back in the gym. I've been meaning to for ages, I'm currently on dry January, so I thought, you know what, let's go to the gym. It's like the second week into dry January, and I just didn't find any time to go to the gym last week. So, we are finally going today, and let's see how long I can carry on this gym journey for. Right. Let's get up, let's get changed, let's head down there right away. There's a new gym, well, it's opposite where I used to go, but they just made a big, massive dome with everything all in one room. So yeah, let's get up, let's get changed, let's go down there, let's go. Alrighty, we are up, ready, and we're changed, but first, we need some Cheerios. Alright, we're finally on our way down to the gym. I ended up having a bagel and some and uh, hot chocolate as well because uh, yeah I was a bit hungry and I needed hot chocolate to start the day off so uh, yeah finally make my way down to the gym I'll see you guys there right well, it's a little cold outside but I've heard that it's actually quite hot in that in there as well I'll just show you guys okay look at the size of that thing a big massive dome <laughs> hopefully it's not Extremely busy in there. Hopefully I get to get to get some shit done So uh, yeah, let's get on with it shall we? People been hating, debating and constantly pray on my downfall Got up so many times after I fell down I honestly been losing count dog Been walking through hell in my bare feet So don't you ever dare compare me Been hustling and struggling to nothing to something The last of a real I'm a rare breed Preventing the enemy, stepping my legacy This is my destiny, throw out my empathy I never quit when the going got tough Fighting my demons is therapy They keep on counting me out Having their doubts, don't do this for money Don't do it for clout Family and friends that I never amount to nothing Now they say I'm making them proud I've been through wars, I'm proud of these scars Hope I'm beginning, I step in the car Nobody thought I would make it this far They thought I'd give up when the going got hard Could have been dead or prison instead Bound to a chair when the two getting fed God kept me stronger and fighting for longer I'm chasing my dreams and I'm getting this bread Alrighty, that is my trip to the gym done For the day, we only did like a little light workout Nothing too, uh, nothing too intense Because, you know, if I did fully go, go for it Then, you know, I'd probably like just throw up Because, like last time <laughs> Like one of the times I went to the gym with me and my mate I just did more, I bit off more than I could chew and then I just threw up. <laughs> it wasn't a good sight, but yeah, st start off light and then ease yourself into more of an intense workout. So I'll do it just a little bit more the next time, a bit more than that the next time after. And uh, yeah, but right now we need to go back to the flat because and have a shower because I don't want to be walking around town being sweaty and smelly. So let's go back to the flat, have a shower, have something to eat, and then go to town. All right, we've made it back to the flat. Time for a shower because I'm sweaty and stinky. So let's transition from being sweaty and stinky to being clean in three, two, one, and boom! There we go, there we go. Have a shower, ignore the steamy mirror, but that's what happens when you have a shower. So yeah, we all dressed all like, not smelly, not fucking sweaty anymore, so we just need to go to town and get a few things from there. Have some food as well. I think I'll have some food from in town somewhere. We'll see, we'll see. I think some of the boys are in town as well, so maybe we'll go and see them, but who knows. Let's start the rest of our journey. All right, we're out and about, and again, no rest for the wicked. It never is. Walking down a mahoosive hill to get to town, to get the things I need, Probably go to Tesco's at some point. Just guaranteed there's still stuff that I need because I haven't done a food shop in a, in a little while, but I will get, a, I'll do a mini food shop. I'm not gonna get too much. I say that now, but just wait until you see like my basket or trolley. I'll probably have loads of stuff in there, but I wanna try and just stick to doing just a small shop. So uh, yeah, that'll be fun. We'll see how that goes. I came in for an apple juice. <laughs> as soon as the kitchen opens, I already know what I'm getting. Sausage and mash. I have a southern fried wrap here all the time. By the way, this is Harry's where I work. And uh, yeah, I get that all the time. So for a change, or today, I think I'm going to get sausage and mash. But I'll get a kid's portion though, because the old portion is fucking huge. I can't finish it. So uh, 
Yeah, we'll get so too much when the kitchen opens in about half an hour. This is, this is Just like the doctor ordered. <laughs> Here about some eating, so it's a match, there's a nail bites and pool game. We have Mario versus Jerry. Jerry's reds and Mario's on the black. Is he gonna get it in? Is he gonna get it? Fucking hell, take your shot, Jesus Christ. Is he gonna get it in? Is he gonna get it in? Oh, All played sausage and mash. 10 out of 10, boy. Shout out to Jordan and Adam who made it for me. <laughs> I don't love boys. It is like half eight now. Stayed in Harry's a bit longer than I anticipated. But now, yeah, we're finally in Tesco's getting some stuff now. Like I said, it's going to be a mini, a mini uh, food shop. We've only got a basket, we've only got apples in it so far. So we're just going to get a couple of things, nothing too major, so yeah, a small shop, like I said, okay? Let's come back once I've finished. You know what, it was actually a pretty successful shopping trip, I'm not going to lie. Didn't spend too much, it was just near enough the amount I was looking for. Only about 15 odd quid, so yeah, not too bad. I mean, well, without the club price, it would have been... Just, just a little bit more, but you know, thank God for club card prices, eh? A little discount there, but yeah, successful shopping trip, a very successful day. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, maybe I'll vlog tomorrow. You know what? We're making vlogs more consistent now on the channel, so that'll be good for this year. Still got part two and three for the Lapland vlog, they're on the way, don't worry. Just doing some more vlogs to stay ahead, stay ahead of the game. But now, I need to get a taxi to my flat and then cook some food. Don't know what I'm gonna have yet though, so see you there. All right, so we're gonna cook a sirloin steak from Tesco's, got some chunky chips cooking in there. And you know, we're gonna be all healthy and add some mixed leaf salad to it. And you know, have a side of garlic bread with it. We've got a little bit of steak seasoning left, so we'll put that on there with a bit of salt and whatnot. But yeah, let's see how this goes. And now seasoned steak from chopping board to frying pan, you go. Look! Yeah, listen to that sound there. Oh yeah! As Jim Carrey would say, smoke it! There's one side. Start doing this with one hand. Not too bad now, not too bad at all. I think looking tasty enough if you ask me. Alrighty, so the end results are here. The steak is finished, everything is now finished. Chips and garlic bread that I added to it. It's all done, ready to be eaten. Oh, also you can't have chips without ketchup. Let's get some ketchup on there now, on the old chippies. There we go, ketchup. Yeah. Right, welcome to Walker TV's steak review. Right then, I know it did look a little bit burnt, but let's see what it's like on the inside. You know what? It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad, you know? Mmm! Oh yeah! Not to toot my own horn, but that's pretty fucking good. Still kept the juices. Still nice and juicy. Oh yeah! Fucking hell! Mmm! <laughs> Bang! Can't fucking chips, but oh, mm. perfecto! I'm not gonna say it's a ten out of ten because you know it's me cooking it and it's not a ten out of ten. But I'm just I'm not gonna rate it in numbers. I'm just going to say, it's nice enough for me to eat, and this is the best steak I've ever cooked. And I think it was, it's banging. So, the whole plate is going to be empty. Just watch. And boom! Just like that. At every single last bit on both plates. So I'm nice and full, and I'm going to sleep like a log tonight. So guys, hope you enjoyed this vlog today. I know it's a bit random. Kind of, going to the gym, going into Harry's, going to Tesco's and making food, but 
I'm going to start doing vlogs a lot more now, like I said. So, you know, make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up on the video, like the video. Make sure you guys are subscribing and you click that little notification bell next to it so you get a notification every time I upload a video. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys so much for watching me just do random shit around in whatever vlogs I do and whatever I do and all that. Thank you for wasting your time watching my time, like Syndicate says, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog or the next video, whichever I do next. Who knows? I'm full of surprises, me. <laughs> full of surprises for 2024. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.